I am back. Hey, I'm about to do a how to camp fringe and how to get a mothership. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do how to series. Although I've done them on every map, maybe you guys missed it. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. So I'm gonna go back and do every map. Now, first thing first, look at the mini map. I want to change that mini map up. We're gonna put up the turd map. Yes. We're going to put up a map showing someone on the other team and the things they went through. Now, what I was saying is a lot of people have been leaving me comments like, Hey, say you can do how to like you used to do in Call of Duty Ghost. The thing is, I've done it. I've done it on every map. But what I think I've done is I put out too many gameplays too fast. When the game first came, I was putting up like three to four games a day. I was doing how to camp combine. If you actually Google it, you can find to like how to camp this, how to camp that. You're going to see me up there. You're going to see your boy Jimmy Dean. People putting videos out showing you how to camp the maps. Well, anyway, I want to show you this one. Now, I'm getting into this game a little late, so I had to get defensive. Now, when I'm on this side, I really like to be behind these rocks. Now, I'm going to tell you guys now, the ones that want the old school camping like you did in Black Ops 2 or even Ghost, it doesn't happen. Now, I'm going to tell you why. The game has changed. With the um, new movements that you have, even if you do get in a room, someone can come up on that window and kill you so fast, it makes it hard for you to camp those ways. Now, there's a couple rooms in this game. And I'll show you, but very few. Now, look at the turret cam. Look, this guy right here. Here's the time I killed this guy and literally lay him down. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using a C4 setup. I'm using an ICR. Now, when I'm on this side of the map, I really do like to be behind these rocks. The reason I like to be back here, it gives me a little more time to react, a little more range. They can't just jump up on me as fast and I can see them. So, I tend to get behind these rocks. If they jump up on C, I can creep over there and take them out. And then I can hide back here. A lot of people don't go behind these rocks looking for you guys so look at this i've already started the game off with some c4 sandwiches i didn't got into my severs now it's really important that you use these things effectively because if you get out there in the open they're going to just start hitting you with grenades and emps and things like that and slowing you down so especially on this map i like to get over here in this corner a lot i like to get right here and i can hide behind this fence now right you'll see the fence i'm talking about right here to my right now when they come around this fence i lay them down but it keeps them from just directly hitting me like with a rocket launcher. It forces them to have to come out and fight me. Like this. Ooh, I laid the noob down. Look, there go another noob. Get laid down, son. And so what I do is I'm able to control them. Now, if you know anything about this map, the spawn is here by those silos and it's over there to the far left. So you can kind of control the spawn a little bit. See, spawn right there. I'm looking in this direction and then they spawn over here to the left. So it's either or. As long as no one's pushing the spawn, you can kind of get these guys as they're coming out and look and laying them down. Now, I was playing a game the other day on this map, and I was in this spot with the Severus, and it totally changed the game around, because all of a sudden, I got a whole bunch of kills. Instead of getting one or two kills with the Severus, look, I am laying people down. Now, I pushed up here a little more just because they were coming from there so fast, and they weren't coming. Look, somebody's trying to hack me. Is someone trying to hack the Severus? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back, back into my original spot. Now, look at it. See, they got to come this way only because of the spot. Now, I've had the mini-map up. You would see where my teammates were, and that's very, very effective. Now, look, I had a teammate push over into the spawn. That's basically going to possibly push them out. But, look, they still came. So, look, good thing I was still there. But that's something you got to be aware of, too. Even if you're a turd on a team, you got to watch how you push the spawns. Now, when you're playing something like Domination, that's important. Sometimes you get these people in here, they care less about what they're doing to spawn. And you got to adapt to that as a player. But look at this. We got all the flags at this point. And it's just something I got to adjust to. My body is safe and I'm laying over here. Now, the setup I'm using to get to the mothership. I'm going with the Severus. I'm going with a Wraith and then the mothership. I find that to be very effective. I'm using a Nomad Specialist because the Hives... I'm going to get two to three kills with the hives. And the thing is, they're like, what, 125 points? So you're looking at 375 to 400 points you can collect off the hives if you use them properly. Now, I probably shouldn't have called that Wraith out. Look at the score. I probably could have saved it for the second half. But I was figuring maybe they'll make try to be aggressive and make a run for it. But now, this is a great spot here on C as well. The only thing is when you're here, sometimes they can come up on you really fast from that barn to the left. So you got to be conscious of that. And then look, I jumped into this game late. I went 21 and 0. These guys are winning. Some of those guys even jumped out the game. As you see the turd cam up there, that poor guy up there, he's doing what he can. He started off strong. We jumped in the game, and when I mean strong, he had like two kills. But watch his kill cam. The reason I well, watch the cam up in the corner. I put that up there to help you guys. You can see what it's like when a person's just running around headless. And that's what I feel a lot of these turds do. Have you noticed I'm very strategic about my routes, why I'm going to certain win? Like for example, I get A every time here. No matter what, I run this way. I don't go for B. 
you know, my teammates, they're going for me. Good job. What I do is I get here and I try to put a C4 sandwich and control that area right away. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out my highs. Oh, look, see my C4 miss. Now, that's dangerous. Now, that, that kind of scares me a little bit because that means that guy may have gotten through. So, I got to be really careful. Look, 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 look. There you go. Oh, my teammate took him out. Well, since I'm over here, let's go ahead and put some highs there. One outside the door. One up there because they like to jump there. And I want to get around here real quick and at least put two over here. Look, one behind the truck and one on A. And that's now my warning system. Now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to camp like a boss. I tend to hide behind here. I use this as the head glitch. Look how big it is. It's like a big head glitch. Now, once again... My teammates are putting in work. We're up 109 to 81, and I'm using this to look both ways. Now, I have hives, so the only way to get me now is if they came straight up the middle through B, and usually your teammates are fighting. Going up that middle corridor, that just means you like to die. That's how I see it. If you like to die, run up that. What I like to do is I like to sit back here, and the reason I sit back is because I can shoot down any UAVs. And look, I'll peek out every blue moon. I'll come up here to see if I can get a kill, especially if it's starting to go slow. Now, that's the one thing about camping. You got to be patient. Now, some people have a hard time being patient, but the reward is great. If you could be patient and you can get into your high score streaks, maybe the first half I only get five kills. That happens. Sometimes I'm 5-0 and oh going into the second first half. But then the second half, all of a sudden, I get into my score streaks and I'll go 30, 40 kills, and that can happen. Now, if I can get into those streaks in the first half, it's a wrap for people. But a lot of times it's about being patient. Now, in case you're wondering what I'm using with this ICR, I'm using um, high caliber, and that's it. I don't even have a foregrip because that gun is nasty. And that's a great gun for people that have a hard time with your aim because there's hardly any recoil. Now I'm in the mothership. Look at that. Look how easy I got the mothership. I switched the view real quick because I'm colorblind. This kind of helps highlight these guys. I put like the thermal on. Now I hate the fact it's hard to shoot these guys coming in because the mothership just it doesn't allow. You can shoot, but you can't aim properly. And see, what you want to do is you want to get into their spawn. Look, I'm in their spawn right now, and I can lay them down. I do got a turret down there. I'm getting some assists off them. And look, you're going to see the other guy, too. If you watch his cam, he's going to get killed by this a few times. Look, and I'm laying him down. This is a great spot, especially on this map. Look at this guy. What are you doing there? Now, I shoot the rockets, but I find the rockets are a little slow. Sometimes I shoot them if too many people are coming, and they start trying to shoot up at me with rockets. Look, somebody's trying to breach me. You got that guy with the hacks on, but he probably only has one. See, look, he's trying to breach me. Get out of here, son. Breach that. And look at this. I'm going in with this thing. Look at this. It almost feels like old school night night machine. And I've gotten a lot better. Ooh, look at that kill feed. That kill feed. I'm laying these guys down. And all they're doing is running out. And they're running for their little lives. Run. Look, he's still trying to breach me. Look, I'm not even worried about him. Because that is so slow to breach with it now. I'm glad they corrected that in the beta. Because that thing was OP. You had turrets taking your mothership. And look, they're just getting laid down. I'm raining down on them. That's what I was looking for. So you guys, this is the easiest way to camp a mothership. At Severus, that Wraith setup, going with those highs, and then get the right gun. You don't have to go dice early. This guy was kind of trolling me. I think he was mad because I was camping like I'm 43 and 0, and he starts shooting by me. You get people like that in games. Sometimes it's almost like they want you to die. I don't know if he's a fan or if he's just a hater, but either way, look at this. Get, get laid down, son. I'll go ahead and take that kill, and this was a pretty easy win, but that, you guys, is how to camp fringe. That's how to get to the mothership, and you got the turret cam. So if you like what you see, go ahead and drop a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get some more great content on how to camp maps, the best spot to camp maps, and also the guns. Now, excuse me, I'm still a little sick, but your boy is back. All right, let's go. That was flawless. Objectives complete. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance.